Ian, congratulations here in Amsterdam and a very comfortable win over Simon Whitlock. You must be happy with that. Yeah, I was happy with the performance. I thought I just, I did enough. I did a way did, just did enough. Um, Simon didn't play like he can do and sometimes you have to jump on the chances. Did you enjoy it out there? He seemed as if you did. No, I was nervous. Um, <laughs> no, to be fair, the, the last couple, of years, three years probably since COVID, it's not been the best time for me playing darts, but today, just open rain, arms can just relax and then I can start playing again. And even when I hit the last double, hands were shaking, yeah. Is that just where you haven't played on TV much, then you can kind of forget what that feeling is like? No, I, do you know what? It, I, I don't know what it was, but you know, sometimes, you know, Sometimes a little bit of nerves can be good for you, and I'm just very glad to get through. Travel chaos getting here as well, flight cancelled and didn't get here till the early hours, so even even sweeter. Yeah, definitely. You know, unfortunately, we had a, a family funeral uh, yesterday. Obviously, we went to on the island, went up to Gatwick, EasyJet cancelled the flight, and then six hours later, via the Eurotunnel, we, we arrived in Amsterdam at half past three in the morning, so I'm, I'm very glad that my wife is multi talented <laughs> and she got us there on time. From losing your card, obviously, that disappointment, yeah. to where you are now you must be happy with the start to life as a new to new tour card holder again because yeah there's, there's been some good signs yeah it's, it's definitely good signs um you know last week just to qualify for this i think it was like 45 46 degree heat in barnsley is unheard of in yorkshire especially <laughs> this time of year but i'm just there you know i've got the experience now i'm just i'm riding the wave again yeah. today some more good news new manufacturer on board as well exciting times for keeping yeah Brad. definitely yeah obviously red dragon obviously lp the, melt detection mm -hmm. so uh it's a good time it's 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 gave me the buzz again you know when you when you start with a new sponsor it gives you the buzz and you want to go further what are the goals for the rest of the year just keep winning that's it as simple as it is you know the thing with darts nowadays people say about percentage checkouts averages and everything just keep it simple win it's as simple as that. Are you enjoying it? Because you've gone back to basics of the back playing Super League, playing County on your, on your yeah. time off. Have you enjoyed just going back to that cutthroatness of the, the rawness of that, yeah. that kind of it? Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, obviously I play, I'm not going to make it a lie, but I play uh, County Darts for Essex, play Super League in Essex, and everybody wants to beat you. Yeah. And it's, it's nice. It gives you a bit of a buzz and, and everything. You know, at the moment, my pair's partner, Richie House, and obviously he's not hit any, one, one, any uh, more 147. I'm going to come on then. to that in a second because... <laughs> You did him up like an absolute. I did, but then give the, up for leaving his phone around. But then the bonus was, I think the first super, obviously with Essex Super League, we play pairs and singles, and I think me and Richie had a, I think we had a 44 dart average leg. So uh, I take that, not bad for a sneaker player. Has he learned the lesson not to leave his phone lying around? It wasn't even a phone; it was his tablet. But that's, <laughs> that's a different story. But yeah, I think he's, I think he might have got over it. <laughs> Dean, congratulations, mate. Cheers, Phil. Cheers, Ty. <laughs>